First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Hey guys, I'm Sarath here with First Capital RI3D. Um, I'm going to be talking about uh, the intake subsystem as it sits on the bot as we're finishing up uh, day three here and getting ready for uh, our reveal stream. Um, I'm going to go into quite a bit of detail here just so that you guys can really get a good idea of what's going on. Um, so very similar to the past updates, we haven't really changed the structure of the roller bar. We're still using the two-inch um, thrifty bot uh, vectored intake wheels on the outsides. Um, those do a really great job of pulling the um, balls into the center where they can then roll into the intake. Um, coming towards the center, we're using the uh, Andy Mark 2-inch Omnis. The gray ones are harder uh, and let the ball roll to the side a little easier. And the green one is a softer durometer and really grabs the ball and pulls it in. One of the major changes we made since yesterday, we uh, decided at about <laughs> 5 a.m. this morning that uh, as we were leaving for the, for the night and coming when we came back in the morning, we would redesign the whole thing. We were having a whole host of issues, which we covered in previous videos. Um, and what we ended up doing was we switched to this hot dog roller style uh, intake here, where basically every every one of those churro tube rollers is powered by a chain, um, which you'll see on this side of the robot. Uh, and the little flex wheels help pull the ball inside. What this does for us is, is it allows the ball to have positive driven contact all the way through the uh, intake stream until it gets into the uh, indexing subsystem. Um, this has been working pretty well. The only minor issue we've been having is that because we use two by one here to hold all these bearings and the intake wheels are also two inches in diameter, um, we have a little bit of a rubbing problem here. Uh, ideally, if we were doing this um, in season, we would have used a uh, more custom solution here, some sort of parallel plate construction or something like that, some fancy gusset set up to make sure that these wheels were exposed and able to freely pull the ball in. You can see there's a bit of a dead zone here. What we're doing now to fix that is when the uh, uh, driver sees that the ball is stuck there, they can just rotate towards that direction that pulls the ball right in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of quick demos here. So this is uh, coming straight on. This is from the side and then he's going to, and then this is from the other side. And, and again, the uh, just to just to recap, we've got if you want to come around to this side, we've got a whole row of uh, sprockets and roll 25 roller chain here, powering each one of these hot dog rollers all the way down to the final roller here. Powered off a uh, 17 to one planetary gearbox with a uh, Rev uh, Neo 550 motor uh, running the whole thing, and that's performing really well for us now. So I think this is this is basically what we're going to have as our final revision of the intake for our robot in three days spot. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Thanks to Rev Robotics and all of our First Capital RA3D sponsors.